Hi, I am Judith Coles, and I'm from him, hisunmeasuredgrace.com, where I encourage women to embrace grace imperfection and draw closer to Jesus because Jesus Christ is sufficient. And I am going to talk to you today, hi Carrie, I'm so glad you're here, about um, renewing the mind. And it's something that I've been thinking about. I've been reading a book a little bit that's about that, and it's just starting to make me, um, like, it's turning my wheels in my head as I think about it. And um, I was just wondering, like, what lies have you been believing from the enemy that you need to unlock as you renew your mind in Jesus? And one of the lies that I believe is that I'm not enough and that I'm not good enough and that I've done all these things that I've caused um, failures in my life. And I think that is a lot of the things that many women are, are believing. Some of them I believe might be hearing in their head that they're too fat. And um, when I was a teenager, I heard in my head what all the girls said. It's like they would say to me, ooh, you're so skinny. And you believe those things and you believe um, these things that make you feel inadequate and it holds you back from what the Lord could be doing in your life. And so um, I have a post that's going to be coming out soon about this. And I, one thing that I will have when this comes out and I share it in the group is um, five scripture mem memory verses. And, and there's one verse from a hymn. And there, it's on a sheet, but they'll, the verses will be like six on that sheet. So what I do is I cut it apart so that I can put it on my refrigerator or I can use it as a bookmarker in, my, in a book and um, just put it different places on my mirror where um, I can think about it. And um, you can even use um, some of these kind of verses if they apply to your situation to help you as prayer prompts. So that's what's coming up. And um, so I just wanted to go over some of these things with you because I wanted to encourage you to start allowing the Lord to renew your mind. And where this all comes from is from this verse, these two verses. Really, it's uh, Romans 12, 2. But how can you share Romans 12, 2 without one? It's just two of those verses. It just automatically goes together. So I'm going to share or read it to you. And it's from the ESV, which is my newest favorite version. So I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mer or we could say sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. This is the part that I'm focusing on for what I'm sharing today. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern which, what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And that's a little bit different than the one that I'm most familiar with that is the King James. But I, I'm sharing that version with you because a lot of people find, I, I think, the wording a little bit more um, easy to understand because it doesn't use the archaic pronouns. And um, it also is very accurate, I'm finding out. So um, this is what struck me is reading your Bible and praying daily is not the same thing as when you unlock the enemy's lies by renewing your mind. And it was like what I gave us as, of, as a, an, uh, my opening thoughts were that we lock into our brain things about how we're not enough in some way. I'm, and I'm especially talking to women because I've never been able to totally get into a man's brain. I cannot totally understand how my husband thinks. I can hear what he says, but I don't understand um, just the matter of factness that so many men have without the, um, you know, we're all mushy and compassionate and, and it's just different. So, um, it's, it, walking with Jesus isn't something that just, it, it, it's where you go down and have your quiet time and it's just over. You read your Bible and you pray and you're done and you move on. I mean, there may be days when you need to do that because you, like today I had to go out. So my quiet time was a little bit more um, just what I had to do and I couldn't let it get drawn out. And, um, and what I 
what I am doing and what I hope to do even more as I go through this book and as I go through these thoughts because I go and take it on tangents of my own is renewing my mind would mean going and sitting by a river or sitting in just sitting here on the deck this is not a deck it's a porch because it's covered <laughs> that's what my husband tells me um, or, or like looking out over my backyard into the woods or something and, and just sitting there and being able to be like silent and hearing God's first voice and, and not just reading my Bible, which is nothing wrong. I better be doing that every day and in his word because that is how he speaks to me because even when, he's, when I'm not reading my Bible, things that I read can't come back to me. But just like looking at the motives of why I do and why I say what I say. Because um, sometimes I say the wrong things. I, I say things that I shouldn't have said. And um, it all starts with thoughts and with maybe even misconceptions of who I am, who my husband is, because he's the person 